Hey guys, welcome back, or if you're new, uh, my name is Kroom, and this is the Kroomporium, where you never know what you're going to get, because I can't pick just one thing. And today I picked doing a what's in my bag video. So come on, let's go. So, couple of like, get this out of the way things first. Um, the editing thing is still not working out. I think that the problem is actually my computer which um, I'm filming this on my computer today to see what that's like. Um, so if the video quality is not good, please leave a comment and let me know. Also, um, if you have any recommendations for editing software, I tried DaVinci 18, which I really liked, or DaVinci Resolve 18, but I really like, which I, <clears throat> see, this is why I need to be able to edit. <laughs> I tried DaVinci Resolve, which I really liked, but that's the one that I was having some issues with on my computer, and after doing a little bit of research, it seems like it might be that my computer is just, like, not good enough for that. I also tried open source, but I had a lot of issues with lagging, and based on some research, it seems like that's a common thing. So if you have any suggestions for, like, good editing software, that's compatible with Windows, uh, please let me know. Um, now, this video is not going to be edited, obviously, because of said editing issues. Um, so, hopefully this turns out okay. Um, yeah. So, let's get started. This is my bag. I got it off of Amazon. I really like it. Um, it is like full, full size backpack type of situation. Um, so it has this little carrying handle, the backpack strap, obviously, and then it has another strap so you can just carry it like this. Um, I keep this strap tucked behind the backpack straps. Because if I have it, like, on the front, I'm afraid that somebody will use it to, like, try and grab me. So I keep it tucked behind. Um, I've tried to film this video a couple of times and had a variety of different issues. So we're going to see how this goes. Um, so it has, one thing that I like about it is, one, the color. Um, and, but it has a bunch of different pockets, which I like. So, first, it has these two little side pockets. Um, in this one, I have my inhaler, because asthma. Um, and then in this one, I have a stun gun which needs to be charged but it also has a flashlight on it and then yeah it needs to be charged um i have never had to use it and hopefully i never do have to use it um there's other things that i would prefer for self-defense and you know what? Maybe I could make a video on that sometime. So, um, I'm sorry that this is so low. This is, it's just going to have to work. I'm doing my best. And here's the thing. So I know that, like, because I can't edit, that just adds to the already, like, I'm new to this, so it's not very good. And that just adds to kind of that. Um, but the thing is, is that I really need to keep doing this. I can't let things discourage me and I need to just keep going and things are not, you can't, you can't not do things just because you're not good at them at first. Because once you start doing them, like it's, it's going to get better. Please, guys, just, I know this isn't the greatest, and I know that, like, I probably shouldn't be, like, saying <laughs> that this isn't the greatest, but I'm going to be real with you guys. I know that these, 
these videos that I'm doing now are not going to be the greatest and I'm really sorry about that but I really appreciate you being here it really means a lot to me and I know that um, at least right now most of you see see this is why you need to be able to edit this is not about my bag at all but here's the thing like I know that most of you who are probably watching this I know you like personally um, and I know that right now people watching this probably or people who don't know me I know that right now people who don't know me probably aren't watching this I know that I probably know most of you guys we've probably met personally and I've had like multiple interactions at some point in time in our lives and so I know that you know everyone on YouTube is like I comment subscribe blah 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 because they're like trying to make their channel better and whatever and obviously I'm trying to make my channel better but right now it really means a lot to me if you guys like the video and leave a comment it doesn't matter what the comment is I mean I obviously prefer for people to not be hateful, but if anybody has any constructive criticism, I am more than happy to receive it because I know that you guys know me. And so right now your feedback is going to be like the most beneficial and helpful for me. So it would really mean a lot to me if you'd like the video, leave a comment about how I'm doing, whether that's good or bad opportunities for improvements, suggestions, video ideas, anything like it really means a lot to me because I, I really need that to kind of make me feel like I should continue doing this. Anyways, ADHD, <clears throat> back to why we're here. What's in my bag? So I already did these two side pockets. So there's this little pocket up front. And in here, I have some hand sanitizer. I have a bag of cloth masks. Some disinfectant wipes. And then this little kit that I had gotten from a gas station that just has some like, oh, where's the camera at? It just has some like um, alcohol wipes and gloves in it and that's everything that I keep in this front pocket and if you couldn't notice the theme handy um, got to keep all of that stuff together make sure that you're prepared uh, next I have this small pocket here and in here I keep some medication um, I'm not going to show you this up close because whatever, um, these are either over the counter medications or medications I have prescriptions for. Um, the reason that I carry them in this glass jar is because one, I don't want to like carry my full bottles of the prescriptions around or like the full bottles, bottles of the over the counter stuff because one, it takes up too much space. And I have this like irrational fear that I'm going to get robbed and that somebody's going to take my medication. Um, so if I just carry around like a few, then, I, you know, I don't have to worry about like, how am I going to replace it? Anyways, I have my vial of life and this just has um, like my medical information so it has like a list of all my allergies, the medication that I take, my blood type, um, emergency contact stuff, um, and then for some, some reason, it's because I'm weird, I, I have this little envelope that has some of my teeth in it from when I got my teeth. It just has one tooth. It has one tooth from when I got my teeth pulled, when I got my mouth to pay. Um, and I don't know, like, I don't know if the DNA in it is still good, but it's for like identification purposes. 
I don't know. Um, I clearly watch too much true crime stuff. And then I have this cool pen that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, I don't even know if it still works, but I like to rub it on my face and like, you know, if I'm like anxious, it helps. Um, and that's everything that I have in that little pouch. Then I guess now we're on to, well, let me set this up first here. Now we're on to the big pouch, which is a, this is going to be the hard part to show you guys. It has a double zipper, which I really like. Um, and then inside of it, it has these uh, slot pocket and two zipper pocket. And then on this side, it has um, little pouches. So in those little pouches, I have my sunglasses case for my prescription sunglasses um such a great investment I used to wear I just looked and saw how long this video is and I'm like not even into my bag and that's because I got sidetracked <sighs> okay anyways prescription sunglasses great idea that way you don't have to wear glasses over your glasses um, and then I have some body spray. Um, it's jasmine, sandalwood, and vanilla. I can't smell it because I have sinus polyps and I can't smell or taste anything. But this way, other people don't have to smell me because I won't know if I smell. Um, and that's what I keep in those two little pouches there. Then in the back pouch, I have some snacks. Lar bar protein cookie and some dates in case I get stranded somewhere and need food. Even though I recently learned that supposedly for every extra 50 pounds of fat that you have is equivalent to 110 days that you could go without food. So I definitely have at least 110 days. Um, so I guess really I wouldn't need it, but you know, I know, like just in case, you know, food helps with your morale. Then, um, I keep a pad because I have a uterus. Um, then just like in the big part, I have this notebook that I just write stuff down in. Like imagine a bullet journal, but like without the bullet and without the journal. I just write everything down in here. It's not in any particular order. Bullet journaling didn't work for me, but this does. I also have some dog treats because even though I don't have a dog, you never know when you're going to be out and about and you're going to see a cute little puppers and you want to boost their snoot. Um, and so you can ask their owners if you can meet their dog and give their dog a treat. Um, and I usually say yes. I also have cat treats. Because even though I don't have a cat, you never know when you're going to see a cat. And um, at the Lowe's near my house, there's actually a cat who lives there. Her name is Francine. She's like an official Lowe's employee. It's really cool. But anyways, these are the kind of treats that she likes. So sometimes I'll go there to see her and get her fat off treats. I'm going to take this other stuff out. Okay. Then I have my bag of fidgets where I have a deck of playing cards, these magnets that you can put on your fingers like this, and I don't know, this is what I do with them, but it's fun, I don't know, it just like, it's fun, I like them, um, I also have in here some Play-Doh, and this little thing, it just has like a marble in it. So you just, it's like the material of like those finger trap thingies. And you just scooch the marble around, that's real fun. And then this is probably the strangest 
fidget that I have. This is a paper clip that a couple of jobs ago um, I did over the phone customer service. And one day at my desk, I just like bent up this paper clip and like looped it around itself. And I've had this for like two or three years, but it's just fun to go like this with. And it's small enough that like it's discreet, I guess, if I need to be discreet about my fidgeting. Um, then I have a power bank, which is really heavy, and a multi-tool. Um, because you never know when you might need to tool something. Um, then I have, this is the last thing. I have this pouch, which inside of it has this other pouch. And then this pouch is another pouch. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but that's totally something I would do. I guess it kind of has other pouches because it has these like electrolyte, I have a bunch of different brands of them, um, these like electrolyte packets that you just mix into water because you never know when you might be somewhere and you need electrolytes. I, you know, you know how like when you were a kid, see I'm getting sidetracked again, here I go, but we're almost done, there's not very much left in my bag, so we'll get sidetracked, that's fine. So you know how like when you were a kid, like in cartoons and stuff, well, I guess it depends on, like, what generation you are, because I don't know what cartoons are like now. But anyways, like, um, uh, quicksand was, like, a thing, and, like, you know, oh, have to watch out for quicksand, but, like, when is, when did you ever have to, in your real, actual life, worry about quicksand? Probably not. Um, so it's, like, one of those things where I have, like, this, like, uh, irrational fear of being, like, stranded somewhere, and so electrolytes um I have this little cooling towel thing you just get it wet with some water and then it gets really cold and you can like go like this on your face or like put it on your neck it's really nice in the summer I have some generic brand Tums because now that I'm in my 30s I get heartburn a lot more often than what I would like I have some powder because I'm a big girl and things sweat and rub and that sucks. I have this little nasal inhaler thingy um, to kind of help with congestion from my sinus polyps. I have some gum. Uh, it has to be dentine because of my mouth toupee. It's the only thing that doesn't stick to it. I have some eye drops, like single-use eye drops, because at my last job, I was worried that I was going to get stuff in my eye, and I really guess I don't need to carry this anymore, but I'm still going to carry it. I have a little compact mirror. It's a mirror. I don't know why I'm showing it to you. It's a mirror. It does what mirrors do. How do you say that word, M-I-R-R-O-R? You say mirror, mirror, it's a mirror, mirror. I guess maybe that's how you know I'm from the Midwest. Um, I have some of these wipes to keep clean my glasses because I fing them up all the time. And then last thing in here is just some chapstick, which I never use, but you never know in your imagined... Uh, stranded scenario, maybe it is cold and dry and you are worried that you are going to get super chapped lips, um, so you're going to carry it. Um, and then, let me just shove all of this stuff back in here really quick, so that way I don't have a mess to clean up later. Even though, see, really, this isn't logical. I'm worried about the length of the video, getting people to actually watch the whole video, and then, oh, and I guess there was actually one thing. I'm glad that I did that because I forgot. I have this little bag that I carry my tripod in, 
And then I also have this little um, lens attachment set thing. I've never used it, but um, maybe in the future I will learn about it and use it. Um, so anyways, that's everything that I keep in the big pouch. Oh, I didn't put the tripod back. See? Just don't put it down. Put it away. There's your ADHD tip for the day. Um, okay. We're almost done. Just hang in there with me, guys. We're almost there, I promise. Last thing is there's this little <coughs> pouch on the back. And that is where I keep my wallet, which is ugly and old, and I don't really like it. And it's empty because I'm broke. Um, but that is everything that's in my bag. And somehow, even though I tried so hard, guys, to put everything back where it belongs so I didn't have a mess to clean up later, I left out the powder. And then my face itches. <sighs> okay, that's way at the bottom. I'm not going to do that on camera. I'll fix that. <laughs> I'll fix that in a few hours. Well, would you look at the time. Looks like the Crumporium's closing for the day. So thanks for stopping by. Um, uh, don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment. I'm really open to suggestions and constructive feedback. It really means a lot to me. I really appreciate you. Um, and remember, guys, just remember, it's really, 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 really weird to not be weird. Okay.